Yo, what is good, y'all? It's your boy Todd back here with another video. If you are new to my channel and I have not yet, please smash the subscribe button as we're on the road to 40,000 subscribers. Also, huge shout out to my guy Lutz for letting me hop on his account to do a pink diamond Walter Davis gameplay. The link to Cheap Lutz uh, YouTube will be down in the description, so make sure to go drop him a sub as well. Walter Davis is actually one of the players that you do need for Will Chamberlain. So just know that his price is probably going to stay pretty high. Look at it, Walter. He's 6'6", 193 pounds, 82 three ball, 95 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 88 perimeter defense, 89 speed, as well as an 89 lateral quickness. In my opinion, a better version of Tracy McGrady. That's the best way I can describe it. Yes, he's a little shorter, but they've got the same, like, they've got the same stats all the way through, basically. Uh, they're just a little different. Like, T-Mac's a little better shooter, I do believe. Walter's a little bit better on the defensive end. Looking at the tendencies, 95 drive dunk tendency for walter let's see what his steel tendency is a 78 as well so pretty great defensive tendencies five or ten hall of fame badges fearless finisher acrobat post riser anti freeze hot shot rhythm shooter slithery finisher hall of fame quick first step tyler shooter and volume shooter 19 gold badge including catch and shoot corner specialist highlight film pick dodger clamps off ball pass tyler's defender blinders so on, on current gen that is a steady shooter downhill needle threader dead eye sniper green machine hot zone hunter now he doesn't come with range extender or deep threes but that can be applied so you might be wondering since he can get five badges what would you give him the badges i would look to give this walter davis card badge like deep threes badge like intimidator interceptor possibly uh maybe even a badge like pickpocket but he still comes pretty complete on the defensive end hopping into freestyle here with walter davis let's see what he's working with okay he's got that got the same behind the back current gen next gen it's gonna be the same thing now uh let's see what his explosive is like yeah he can move a little bit i mean I, it's not it's not to say I, he's gonna be your primary ball handler but he can at least move a little bit he's gonna have that t-mac release the trey burke release now the one thing i the one downside i see to walter davis are his hot spots right because with the shooting guard he's gonna he's gonna be shooting a lot of shots from the non-corner so the, the the left corner hot spot isn't that important for walter considering most of his shots probably aren't going to come from the corners but still with his release you should be knocked down with him there's no excuse not to green the majority of your shots with the card with this type of a release and the thing i love about walter is he has a great release can get deep threes and he has hall of fame quick first step so that can't be overlooked either has you know highlight film or showtime as well so he's got a lot going for him walter truly truly does it's just going to be a little intriguing to me to see how he plays within a my team unlimited game Looking at Walter Davis on current gen here, and the, the only difference that I think we're going to see, uh, obviously, is he has his stock and drill moves. He's going to be able to burst on current gen, which obviously on next gen he can't do. So he's going to be able to burst, and the fact that he doesn't have hot zones hurts him, has the steady shooter on current gen as well. So you just kind of got to decide what, what's worth it, what's not worth it for Walter Davis. I think I like the card a lot better on next gen just for the fact that the steady shooter is 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 a it's a problem for me i do not like steady shooter at all and so give me give me him on next gen a lot better but he still is going to have that t-mac release which we all know is knocked down i just think with steady shooter and not a super high three ball it will be difficult at times to consistently green with this walter davis card the fact that you got to call a timeout to set your freelance is actually kind of wild to me i don't like that at all walter davis first shot of the game is green no range extender no hot spots no problem for the 82 three ball in walter davis on the first possession of the game out to kd that's got to be green i i'm bad with kd like i'm actually really really bad with him Man, oh my he switched on ball last second that's tough back to walter chill chill chill, chill. what is that walter why are you doing that i just wanted to spin dunk for some reason i like like i like calling pick and pops with two guards like i feel like i get very good looks off of it almost every single time i don't know if it's because guards like aren't used to guard in the pick and roll or what it is but walter davis has gotten two great looks off of it so far like it's zion there's no way you're gonna green consistently with him run up to walter chill dave it's gotta be green and it is dave cowens with a nice green light and on next gen that release one isn't even that bad. Another he has one. yet to figure out how to guard the pick and pop with Monte Ellis and Walter Davis. Like, 
Dudes would just throw anything, I promise you. Get it to water. Stop. Stop those. Oh, look at water spinning, Duncan. I, I, I was going to stop on the break, but I, I thought, why not get him get him closer to that? Oh, yeah, I thought he might have slashing takeover. Shot creating, that's not bad. Hand, good. Good, Dave. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. Great defense. Yeah, you might as well do your thing. Set the feet. I missed slightly late. That's my fault, Walter. I got to be able to knock that one down with you. Let's see how he guards this. I just want to see. I just want to see again. Is he going to stay attached? He he stays attached just a little too much. Monte Ellis blows by him for an easy slam. I've had a lot of success with the Monte uh, Walter Davis pick and pop so far. Or he missed. Wow. Get it to Walter. Everyone, yeah, yeah. That's got to be green. I don't know why I'm not greening. It's like on the catch and shoot, he's been lights out. But I've not hit a, hit a shot off the dribble yet with Walter. I mean, he's only got an 82 three ball. So I, I, need to, I need to, you know, take some better shots with him. Walter to the rim. I'm struggling. I've missed like four shots all on the same possession with him right here. He has Hall of Fame quick first step. I need a blow by here. Out to Dave. Uh-oh, this is just this is a possession going nowhere. Bail me out, Giannis. We got another board. Oh, no, we didn't. Come here, Walter. Give me a nice pick and pop. KD to the cup. You can't. Oh, I thought he was going to leave him. Look at Walter. Look at Walter creating for Dave. And I'm whiting every shot with everybody right now. I feel like it's hard to play defense on next gen. I don't know why, but I feel like my rotations are just all over the place. Come here, Dave. Why can I not green? He made a 53%. No, Walter Davis is the best My. since he hit that shot. I don't care. Like, that is a tough shot to knock down. Quick first step on Hall of Fame. Mm, good block by Rudy, but there's the Hall of Fame quick first step on display. Chill. That's green. I hate KD's release, but finally I get a green light with the man. Just a little too much attention paid to Walter Davis right there. It's great defense. Take a charge, Monte. Good. Board. Board run. Chill. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. You can't leave him. In a catch and shoot situation, he's going to green it. Come here. He's got shot creating takeover. Why would I not shoot a drifter? This is great defense. Look at what Great defense up to him. Somebody better stop me. Somebody better stop me. He'll take it to the cup. Can I get that team takeover? Walter Davis is going crazy. Uh-oh. Imagine me not shooting the first one. Instead, shooting a drifter that is lightly contested. It doesn't matter, though. He got I'm that to go. Anyway, Walter, get it to him. On the break, can I get a slam dunk for Walter Davis taking over here in this second quarter of play? That's me. Look at Giannis flying around. Yes, sir. We're playing defense, playing offense, just putting it all together. Looking at the halftime box score here, Walter Davis had 26 points to assist, one steal, 10 of 16 from the field, and 6 of 10 from deep. Really led the way for me offensively and played pretty good defense. Walter Davis had 26 and a half. His whole team had 26 and a half. At the start of the second half, before I even had Walter Davis check in, we got a quit up 30. We saw Walter Davis go crazy in just one half of Unlimited. Let's see how he is in Triple Threat Online. I'm up against my guy, Superior Andrew. That's funny. This guy is one of the guys that supports me on, on Twitch and, and one of my guys in the community. So that's funny that I'm playing him in this Triple Threat game. Uh, but I'm guessing he needs some sort of challenges. So maybe maybe if he'll let Walter Davis go crazy, I'll let him do whatever challenges he needs. Hold up. Hey. Don't hit the screen. Chill, Walt. <laughs> Chill, Walt. Hey, Walt. Walt, my boy. <laughs> he just needs layup with, layups with Mo Williams. So once I get in position, which Walter Davis is doing his thing, pal, I'll let him get his layups. I'm not worried about Walter Davis on defense. Just go do your thing with Mo. I ain't going to block it. You got it, man. I ain't going to block it anymore. You need your challenges, that's fine. 
You can you can even play defense. I don't really care, to be honest with you. Oh, oh yeah, let me go crazy with Walt. Hey, let me go crazy with Walt. Yes, sir. Walk back, Walt. Oh, why did we walk to Davis? How am I whiting with Walter Davis? He's legitimately letting me do my thing with him. So why am I whiting with the car? Oh yeah, Walt. Just give me a snatch back though. Hey, what in the what a what in the world, Walter? Good shot, I'll take a white though. I gotta get green with Walter. I don't know why I'm not green in shots. But I gotta figure it out eventually because the way I'm not greening consistently, I don't like it at all. Go ahead, shoot your layup. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna bother you. You you let you let Walter do his thing. Oh, yes, sir, Walt. Okay, nice combo. Walk back for me. Thank you, finally. The thing is, if you can green consistently with Walter Davis, with the fact that he gets range center, with how good he is on defense, he's going to be one of the top shooting guards. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. He's going to be one of the top shooting guards in the game. He just, he just truly will be. I promise you, no matter what you think about him, the way he shoots the ball, everything like that, he's going to be a top shooting guard in the game. No doubt in my mind. He's a better version of T-Mac. You guys can disagree. You guys can say T-Mac over Walter Davis, but I disagree. Give me Walter Davis every single day of the week. Oh, yeah. Now you got shot creating takeover. Hey. Look at Walter, man. I'm not greening. Why is it not green, Walter? I don't understand. Come here. There it is. The thing is, you just got to figure out a way to green consistently with him. I get he's got only an 82 three ball, I think. So if you can maybe boost that a little bit. On current gen, he probably is going to, to shoot a lot of fools because he does have steady shooter and stuff like that. But on next gen, he should be pretty lights out. No doubt about it. Oh, yeah. Give me the ball back. Yeah, I like this energy. Get it to Walter. Hey, set the feet. That's a little deep. Nothing's too deep for Walter, though. So if you could just boost his three ball a little bit, I legitimately see zero flaws in the card. I, and, and that's rare. Usually, cards have flaws. He made that. But usually, cards have flaws. Like, Giannis can't shoot. T-Mac doesn't have clamps. Like, the majority of the cards you see have flaws. Walter Davis just doesn't. Look at it while here. 21 points. 7 of 9 from the field. 7 of 9 from deep. It was basically a shoot around with him because this guy needed to get Mo Williams challenges done. So, he just let me do whatever I want. But still... Very impressive game from Walt. Before I say anything else, I think Walter Davis is better than Trace McGrady. And on Next Gen, we all know how great Trace McGrady is. Compare the cards. Give me Walter Davis every single day of the week. The only thing Trace McGrady is going to do better is shoot the ball. Walter Davis is better in the badge. Badge-wise, he's better. Stat-wise, he's better. And so he's just an upgraded version of T-Mac. Yes, you lose a little bit of height, wingspan, but still. Give me Walter Davis every single day of the week. On next gen, Walter Davis is way more valuable than he is on current gen. On current gen, I still would take Grant Hill, still take guys like uh, maybe even Dominique Wilkins. It just depends uh, because he does have the steady shooter and some other stuff like that. But on next gen, Walter Davis is a top three shooting guard in NBA 2K21. My team, I have zero doubts that he's a top top three shooting guard in the game. No doubt in my mind. And honestly, he might be the best primary shooting guard in the game. When you look at it, if you, you, you might want to take JR, but listen, man, this Walter Davis is so, so tough. But that is going to wrap it up for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.